Greetings, Graveyard Disciples, and welcome to another edition of Scared Sheetless. With no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let the show begin. One of the most interesting ghost stories I've ever read comes from a place we, us New Hampshire Knights, all know it well, and that is Franconia. Back around 1850 is when settlers came to Franconia Notch and discovered copper. Soon copper mines were a big deal in this area, a new way of making a living. And this new town became a great settlement to come to, but the Native Americans didn't agree with the new additions to their land. Of course, this was because the new settlers were on native sacred land. As time progressed, the copper mine town began to land the foundation to make a potentially great place to live. It was plagued from the start with problems that could only be explained as abnormal. Buildings would be erected, but the roof would be missing the next day. Excavated grounds were filled in a day after like it wasn't even touched and even the equipment ceased to work like some force was making it stop. Finally, a local pastor noticed a native and asked him what was going on. He was told that they were building their new town on sacred land, and the spirits were warning them not to proceed. The native that the pastor was talking to was sent to try and make peace and have a petition signed to move the town a few hundred yards away, or tragedy what happened to the town. They didn't listen, and no compromise was reached between the sellers or the natives. Soon it became a thriving town of 200 people, but the strange occurrences were felt throughout. Strangely enough, nothing, nothing strange happened to the church, and it was left unscathed by these abnormal forces. Through March warning and signs, the natives could not convince the new community to move and show respect for their ancestors. But the town rejected the myth of terror as fairy tale. Soon the natives left, and the town's people thought they won. They would soon find out they were wrong. In August of 1859, a great red sky came over the town. Thunder shook the earth beneath their feet, and the wrath of the great spirits took over the small town. Witnesses watched as a cloud formed into a great big hand and smashed down onto the small town. And then, all was quiet again, and the sky turned blue, but other townspeople from other communities were not prepared for what was to be seen. The copper mine collapsed, killing every man working inside. Even stranger, no, no one was around or found in the town. Smoke was still coming out of chimneys, half-eaten food was still on the table, but the only building that was left unharmed was the church where the pastor tried to get the townspeople in the community to move. The mine and company wanted to reopen the copper mine, but no individual dared to mock the same fate that happened to the ones before. So the town never resurrected, and thus the buildings crumpled to the ground, and all that is left is cellar halls and foundations of this once thriving town in the Franconia area. Well, all right, folks, that is the end of this video. References for this video come from, once again, like last week, Thomas D. Agostino's book, Haunted New Hampshire. Unfortunately, I couldn't use actual footage or pictures of this town because, well, none of it exists. I'm not sure that this is another Ocean Board Mary hoax or what, but when I tried doing research on this video, I couldn't find any, anything aside from two things. One was Thomas D. Agostino's book, and the other was the article I did for this story 10 years ago, which was the script I used for this, uh, for this video. Uh, during the video, I used clips and pictures of the town of Livermore, New Hampshire, which is an actual ghost town around the same radius this supposed town is in the story. I also compared stories of other ghost towns in the area, and not even gave a hint of this town's demise, so I, uh... I had nothing to go by aside from uh, D. Agostino's book and my article, uh, you know, so um, I apologize for no pictures or video of this town. Uh, I think this story was made up to scare the kids or, or something. Otherwise, there would be 
concrete proof that this place actually exists, but unfortunately, there's just none out there. Um, aside from that, I still think it's a fun story, I, I think at least, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Graveyard Disciples, this has been another Scared Sheetless. Keep it scary.